Hi friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and I'm back for another installment of the Online Origami Club. Now, don't forget that you can stop here at the library to pick up one of our Online Origami Club kits. It's gonna look something like this and have all sorts of paper with different colors and patterns that you can use to make the projects that I'm about to show you. Now, for this week's project, you may have seen or heard a cicada this summer, and I thought that would be a great opportunity to make an origami version. So. Let me show you what we'll need, and we'll go ahead and get started. In order to make our origami cicada, we're going to need our online origami club kit. And in here will be the paper that we're going to choose from for our final project. We're going to need a sheet of practice paper to get really, really good at making origami cicadas before we make the final thing. And in this case, I have this piece of space paper that I really liked. Uh, you might need a pair of scissors if your practice sheet of paper is not a perfect square. Now, mine is, so I won't need them, but if you're using notebook paper or construction paper or something else at home to practice with, you may need to trim that down. And finally, you're going to need some markers, crayons, or other things to decorate with because, as everybody knows, we love decorating our origami projects. So go ahead and grab all that, and we'll get started. In order to make our origami cicada, we're going to begin with what is called a helmet base, and we'll make that in the following way. First, we're gonna to wanna to take our pattern side of our paper, what we want to be the most of our cicada, and we're gonna turn that face down. And we're just going to fold it in half diagonally, taking this point up here to this point down here. We'll give it a nice sharp crease once everything's lined up perfectly. And then we'll have something that looks like this. Now we're going to take each of these corners, this one here and this one here, and we're gonna fold them down to this bottom point here to turn it into a square. So we'll fold one down, line the other one up nice and even, fold it down, and we'll have something that looks like this, a square with these two flaps. Now we wanna turn our project around, but do not flip it over, we just wanna rotate it like this so that now the flaps are at the top instead of the bottom. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and fold our flaps down like this. And we do not want to fold them perfectly down. We don't want to fold them straight down like this. We want to angle it a little bit so that you can see what's going to look like a kite shape at the bottom here. So if we fold one like this, and then fold the other one down symmetrically so that it looks exactly the same, and we're going to have something that looks like this. Two triangles with this little kite shape in the middle here. Now, a good way to tell if you folded far enough down is that these corners here should also be these corners here on your square. So when you're folding down, you're gonna use this corner as a pivot point and just fold down like that. So now we have this shape and it's time to start folding the head of our cicada. And in order to do that, uh, we have a couple of layers up top here, and we're gonna take the first one, and we're gonna fold it right down that center line, but not exactly the whole way. We still want some of our paper to be showing here and here. So we folded our first layer down, right down the center, leaving some of our paper underneath still showing. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing again, and we're gonna take our final layer, and we're gonna fold it down, but again, not the whole way because we still want some of our paper below to be showing so that we have a shape that looks like this. Ooh. Just like that. Now, at this point, we are ready to fold the cicada in a little bit because this is a little bit wide. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take and just fold this part back until we have our paper angled and a little flat head at the top here. So let me go ahead and make those folds and I'll show you what that looks like. Alrighty. So we have something that looks like this and all we did was we started from here where we could still see our layers of paper and we just folded those back like this into our cicada shape. Now, something that you might have noticed as I was folding mine is that I had to do it twice, and that's because if our two sides are not symmetrical, if they're not perfectly the same and lining up evenly, then our cicada is not going to line up evenly when we make this last fold. So if your two folds don't match, especially when you look at them on the back here, 
then you definitely want to make sure they do before we do our final step, which is just to fold our cicada in half. And this is going to make the cicada a little stronger and make it better able to stand up on its own. So we're just going to take this center line down here, fold our cicada right along it, just like this. Give it a crease, and we'll have something that looks like this, our perfect practice cicada. Now, since my space paper has a lot of black on it, my black marker isn't going to be particularly good for decorating it, but you might want to give your cicada some eyes, or you might want to give it some wings as well. So you can go ahead and take your marker, decorate it however you'd like, and at this point, you have one cool cicada. After some practice and decorating, I took a piece of paper out of my online origami club kit, and I made this origami cicada here. It's a little bit quieter than the real thing, but just as cool. And don't forget that if you're participating in our summer reading program on Beanstack, then you're definitely going to want to enter the code word PAPER to show that you've been participating in the online origami club, and that is going to unlock some tickets for you to enter into our prize drawings. Next, you're definitely going to want to send us a picture of your origami cicada using our photo release form, because that will count toward your summer reading Shutterbug badge and even more prize tickets. And finally, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for all sorts of updates, not only about the Online Origami Club, but also everything else happening here at the library. As always, happy crafting.